Enjoy this Goldilocks Productions presentation of the Joyful Finding Show with your host, Melissa Parks. <laughs> the energy is just running through me and <laughs> messing with technical stuff there, I guess. <laughs> Oh, the energy. We got to love the energy. So they're wanting you to really tap in and start feeling the energy. No worries. <laughs> um, they really want you to start feeling these energies, start feeling what your higher self feels like. Allow, you know, allow yourself to start really following your heart. You know, we are all heart led based, um, even though we don't know that. Some of us do. Some of us are learning that. And it's so funny. I just look up into the clouds and there's a, there's an eagle head there. So it's about you guys finding your freedom within your own little world. Okay. So it's like, allow yourself to start making better decisions for yourself. Allow yourself to definitely um, expand into whatever it is that you have joy about. So start spreading your love out there about things that you enjoy and things that you like to do. All right, we have one caller already. I will take caller from area code 201. Hello. Good morning or good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. This is Rose. How are you? I'm good. How are you today, Rose? Um, I'm wondering, what do you see for me with regards to work and money, please? Okay, let me tap in for you there, Rose. Work and money. Are you working right now? No, I'm looking for work right now. Okay. Have you been applying? Yes, of course. Uh, Okay. I have an interview coming up next week. It's for a temporary job, but it's better than nothing. But I don't even know if they're going to. It's so competitive. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Okay. Okay. Um, Well, it's good that you have an interview. Um, I feel like that's a stepping stone for you to get to the next job. And I feel like you will get hired at the temporary job, which could lead into full time. So you have to like, they're showing me that you need to change your thought about that. Okay. You know, well, it's a tough market out there. Well, you're the right candidate. So don't say that someone else is going to get the job because then you're telling the universe it's okay for someone else to get that job. So it's like you've been looking and you've finally been called for an interview. So that means the people, whoever's looking to interview you, are liking your energy so far or whatever you put on your resume, however they're looking at it. And this is your step, okay? And I feel like this is temporary and it could lead into full time, but I also feel like there's another job out there that you have yet to apply for because you feel like you're – You feel like you're not qualified enough, but you are. So you need to get rid of whatever self-doubt you have so that you can definitely, you know, tap into what it is you would like to really be doing. Well, a friend of mine is going to help me get a full-time job with benefits. Um, Maybe that's the one that you're referring to. Okay. A friend friend will refer me or? Let's see. You have a friend working with you now on this? No, I'm I'm not working, but uh, someone I know uh, said that they're going to help me get a job, and they have a high position in my town, and they okay. certainly can get, they can get me a job anywhere because they're very high in the town. I'm not political, but they are. So, do you see that happening, or I'm just I don't know what which direction to go. Well, if you have someone that will already get you a job into whatever county, city, whatever town that you live in right now, that is going to produce probably the best amount of benefits that you can get right now and starting pay. Um, I feel like you can choose either or, but I'm I'm also getting that you actually need to follow your passion. So if the job is not in line with what your passion is, it's going to be a short time stint. Um, They want you to really start following your passion now. I think this is why there's been so much um, looking for jobs because it's like you need to look outside the box a little bit and allow yourself to see something more for yourself. And I feel like this person, and I feel like it's a gentleman, um, is going to be very helpful in that and getting you into the city or whatever you're at. Um, I feel like that's a good opening for you. It's not like your end-all, be-all, I don't feel, but it's definitely getting your feet wet and learning something new because you're ready to learn more. Um, You're seeking more information out of whatever you have going on in your life. Um, So it's really cool um, that you're seeking that out. It's 
It's a female friend. Um, okay. So. Hmm. Feels more male energy, but being political, they could be. Um, but I feel like that's a good opening for you. If someone's willing to get you into a department somewhere, I say go for it. It's a good okay. opening for you. But in the meantime, I'm still going to go on this interview. It's just a temporary job. They may not want me, but at least I have something to look forward to. But you feel positive about that as well. Yes, I do. I feel positive about both ways. As long as you're allowing your heart to lead the way and you're having no fear, um, everything's going to work out just beautifully for you. And you see more money coming? Oh, yeah, I definitely see more money coming because you're going to get a job that's going to be bringing steady income, and that's what you're looking for, something that you know that you can survive and thrive off of, you know, because you're in survival mode right now, so you want to be thriving. So this job, whichever one it is, is going to be bringing in more income, which is going to make you feel more stable. Absolutely. That's true. Yeah. And that's what you're looking for because you don't like the unstableness of the unsurety of it all. You know what I mean? No one really does. It's an uncomfortable feeling. <laughs> it is. I'm a very stable person, too. I, just, I can't take it. I need a job, a normal job, to get up every day and go to work, you know? So, yeah, you need that routine back in your life. <laughs> you see any romance coming? Well, I don't know if you have other ho- callers holding. I No, I, I've got a little extra time for you. It's about you today, Rose. Okay. It must be May 1st, and it's about Rose, because it was like I saw all these flowers on, on my Facebook page this morning, and there was roses, and there was all these flowers. So, you know, it's about new beginnings. So May 1 is like your new beginning. So start seeing yourself in this whole new light. And I want you, they want you, I say me, but I, they want you to start opening up to what it is you truly want. Because I do see a relationship coming into your life because I think that's what you just asked me. Um, but it's all going to fall into place when you start loving yourself more and don't settle for less and get stuck into the pattern that you've had before. So it's like, you're putting it out there. And they're showing me you with a pad of paper. And I love to tell people stuff because it, we get to create whatever we want. So they want you to get out your piece of paper and they want you to write down what that perfect job looks like, what your perfect income looks like, and then get another sheet of paper. And they want you to write down what your perfect relationship looks like. What does that significant other look like in your life? How do they act in your life? Um, are they fulfilling the needs that you're looking for? You know, we can start creating all this now. It, we're, we're all very powerful, and that's one of the things that we have to remember. We don't have to settle for whatever the universe just throws at us. <laughs> right. So I'll be getting work, I'll be getting steady income, and I have a new uh, relationship coming. Yes. 2019, the rest of 2019 is going to be very busy for you. I feel like the first part of this year has been kind of slow for you, maybe with the unemployment or whatever, but it's been, you've been having to reflect on your life to be able to move forward. Oh, good. In a, in a more positive manner than you were going, if that makes sense. Well, it's hard to stay positive when things aren't going your way, you know, no matter how hard you try. And, and you put it out there, and it's just not happening. Maybe it's not happening fast enough. <laughs> well, not only is it not happening fast enough, you're not going down the right road, okay? When we keep running into obstacles, if, if, if it's not easy for us and we're trying to climb uphill to get something, we're really not supposed to have it. We're trying way too hard. You know, things are supposed to come into our lives a whole lot easier. One of the things that I've learned in this lifetime is, you know, one of the things I used to tell us is you have to work really hard to get what you want. No, we don't. We have to think first that we can do what we want and make that happen after that. And then it's as a matter of, you know, it could be baby steps it, or it could be mountains depending on how hard you want to make it for yourself. But I find that we need to start making things easier on ourselves. And if we keep running into the walls and the obstacles, we have to reevaluate which way we're going and which way would be better for us. Because sometimes we get expectations about what we should be doing or how we should be doing it, and that also gets in our way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, thank you yeah. very much. Thank you, Rose. I appreciate you calling in today, and good luck in your future. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye.
All right, people. The energy is still kicking. I still feel it vibrating out of me and going out to all of you, whether you connect in now or you connect in later on an archived session. There's so much going on in our world. And it's just amazing the things that are taking place, the things that are coming to light that have been hidden from us for so long, the way that we interact with life, the, the way that, um, that we're starting to view things in a different light now. You know, I think I saw this Facebook post the other day that says, we are raising our children now, not like our parents did, because this is a new world that we're living in. So it's like we're all adjusting from what we had learned from our grandparents, our parents, and now what are we standing in in our own, our own truth? What does that feel like? Does it really feel like that rings true for you? I know I've changed a lot since, you know, being a teenager or whatever. And my parents were very old when I grew up. So it was like, I was stuck in that, you know, my parents were born in the twenties and thirties. So I had that kind of, you know, growing up and what they had learned from their parents and, you know, growing up in the recession and stuff, they had a lot of stuff that happened back to them in the day. And the way that they would teach us is not necessarily what is true for today. Um, Again, they're lighting me up. They want me to tell you that because they're starting to be the sweater starting to run, which is so funny. Um, but it's amazing how much has changed in our lifetime, even just from the time you've been born and how you've seen things change. We're all changing, and we all need to keep changing because we're all changing for the better. We're getting unstuck. We're starting to allow ourselves to move about freely. We're starting to stand in our own truth and our own power. You know, and what I mean by power is like we are not giving it out to just everybody. You know, sometimes I see people as an octopus and they have eight tentacles coming out of them and all their energy is going out to all these other people and they're taking very little for themselves. I say cut all your tentacles. That does not mean you do not love who was attached to the other side, but it does not mean you have to drain yourself for helping them all the time. It's about standing in your own power, starting to create what it is that you want to create. You know, there's so much going on. I keep saying that. They keep repeating themselves. They're so funny today. Um, that, that, you know, you get to start making the choices and you start making those choices today for yourself. You know, and, and then I want to go back to my first caller that I had here today, Rose, you know, when she was talking about, um, you know, going for the job interview and, you know, but there's a lot of people out there. You have to believe when you're going into a job interview that this job is already yours. You see it as already yours. You know, it's like any business that you go into. If you want to be a business owner, see yourself already owning that business, see yourself having the employees or the services that you desire to give to people. It's about creating what you really want now. And that's the most fun thing. And I tell you, you're all master manifestors and we're starting to do it very quickly now. Um, so pay attention to what you ask for and how fast it comes, whether it's in the negative or in the positive. So if you keep asking for things that are in the negative, I please ask you to start retraining your brain to not do that anymore. Cancel out the negative thought, replace it with a positive thought, so you can start creating a better life for yourself. It's like I said, the only person that can do this is you. Why owe you? Only you. Again, the psychics and all of us, we have great advice and everything, but it all comes down to what you choose for yourself, okay, and what you believe to be your truth in that very moment. Um, I also know there's a lot of people out there struggling with things that they're afraid to even talk about. So I'm sending out extra love to you all that are in extra pain or extra suffering so that you can see the light and open up to what it is that you truly want and retrain yourself into what it is you would like to be. I've run into a lot of people that are in these stuck places. Again, I'm going to go with the whole love thing because I've run into a lot of people that have been married lately for many years and they're just not happy anymore. I mean, they really like the person, but they're just not in love anymore. So they're missing something. They're missing that small bit of happiness that was that's what they're looking for that's the one missing piece they may have all the money they need the house over their head they are to grow their kids whatever and now they're just like what, what, what am I missing and part of that could be that you all need to go deep inside yourselves to look and see what it is you know it's like I did a reading last night for a woman it was so funny because I saw her on this really really tall 
high diving board. And I saw her having to jump down into her own body. So when I say that you have to dive deep, I mean you have to dive deep within yourself. This is helping you uncover your soul self. This is helping you uncover that light that you've been keeping maybe shadowed or maybe not letting shine as much because people around you are not allowing you. Um, because they say that's not true or whatever, and you want to believe them. But if you're not standing in your truth and power, you're going to stay stuck. So even if you're not happy in that relationship, I say that you have that actual conversation with that person because they don't know. If you're not actually speaking your truth to the other person, this is how I feel and this is what I need in my life, you're not allowing them to be able to go, oh, I didn't realize I was doing that. So just think that, you know, to speak our truth is to anybody, to whether it's our partner in love, it's our boss. You know, I even had that one day this week. You know, I had some lady that came in and her boss was kind of like in an off mood and gave her some attitude. And this this was a pattern for her because she'd been in other jobs before and had the same treatment. But this time she stood up for herself. She didn't get all angry or whatever, but she spoke very calmly and very truthfully to her boss about what her truth was and how she felt. And that gave the boss a chance to look at their actions to see how it actually made someone else feel. Most people don't recognize that. So open up, start speaking your truth with love. We don't have to do it in an angry way, but we can definitely start speaking our truth with love. Um, You know, if people don't give you the chance, say, can you please sit down? I have something on my mind I would like to talk about. There's many easy ways that you can do this, okay? So I say... Power to the people, all stand in your truth, all stand in your power, start creating this better world that we want to live in. And it's just so amazing that things are going to change very quickly. And I know I jump around a lot when I'm talking like this and I'm channeling, but they want to make sure they cover a lot of information. (laughs) And whoever's checking in, they're tapping in. So the energy is just flowing out of me just like it's supposed to. So I appreciate every one of you that are tapping in and listening today and listening. Um, Just some helpful reminders um, about how you can reach me. You can reach me on my website at I am Melissa Parks.com. Um, and you can also reach me by phone at 941-266-9250. You can also reach me on Facebook. You can find me under Melissa Parks Psychic if you want to be a friend on my Facebook page. Um, I post a lot of my events there. Um, if you are on my mailing list, um, sorry, I haven't sent out emails lately. I'm working on it. <laughs> um, but, you know, there's many ways that you can reach out and touch me um, energetically. You just have to think about me, and we can tap in that way, too, if you want. Um, there's so many things that are going on this month. Again, it's just the beginning of May. What do you have planned for your May? Um, what kind of flowers are you blooming in your life? What kind of seeds have you been nurturing? that are you are bringing to flower this month, whether it be in your personal life, your, your, your mental life, your physical life, whatever's going on for you, start creating more flowers. I feel like everyone's walking out of the Parker bushes now and into this beautiful meadow of all these beautiful flowers, and you are creating all of this. It's such an amazing time to be alive. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it, but trust me, it truly is. <laughs> so much fun. Again, the energy is really vibrating me, so I hope you guys are really feeling that out there. And this is a vibration of love. I get that they want me to talk about love more because it's about loving yourself and making the right decisions for you. And they kind of want you to block out any other voices that you're hearing from maybe your parents, your grandparents, your spouses, and just stand in your own space for a minute and feel what that feels like. Um, and start owning your own things, okay? And that means owning your own mistakes, too. I feel like I need to talk about that a little bit. So um, some people are going through life reviews. You're going through your childhood. You're going through your adulthood. And you may even be going through past lives. Those might be coming up because we bring some of those patterns forward with us. You don't have to own that life in this life. You just know that you have to disconnect and make it better for this one. But with all these things that you know and have going on around you and the things that you've been reviewing, 
you can apologize to yourself. You can apologize to whoever you need to energetically go, yeah, I wasn't the best person there because I know I am going through this myself. I'm going through my childhood, you know, because I wasn't always the nicest person either. I had to learn that, you know, I think that was part of what I had to learn down here. Um, I didn't always make the wisest choices, but now I make much better choices. And we're all going through that. We're all starting to see where our patterns lie you know, because we have repeated patterns. And I love that I see more people are actually noticing that and using that word, that there are more patterns um, and that you're breaking them so that you can be a healthier person, you know, and people are taking better care of themselves. I love that everyone's going out and, you know, taking care of themselves in a much better way. It's awesome. It's awesome. So um, let's see, what else is going on? What else is going on? So it's like, so fun that um, there's, um, yeah, okay, so I want to bring up my class the other night. So I have a class every Monday night, Joyful Finding, and I had, you know, I had six or seven people there that night, and it was very interesting because I had a male show up, and usually my classes are more filled with females, so it was nice to have a male perspective. So I'm hoping more males are starting to open up and will join more groups so that they can start sharing some of their knowledge that they have, too. Um, and I appreciate all the women that show up because we're all expanding in such beautiful ways and standing in our power because that's what we're supposed to be doing. But it was so nice to have a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he was very open to all of this. And I love it when people are new to this and they're open to this, you know, because in my class, sometimes I have people that are brand new to this. And then I have people that are, you know, been doing this for years and just wanted to come check out my class. And I also have to mention that I had this other lady who was the first lady to ever, um, um, she was her first time to my class. She had never done any psychic stuff before. And what I like to do is I like to play this little game called blind billet. So what I do is I cut up these pieces of paper for as many people as in the room, and I have each of them write their name on it. And then I have them fold it in half, and I put it in a little jug or whatever and mix them up so everyone has to pick one out and connect with the energy. So what I do is I have them each pick out a name, and they're not allowed to open it and see whose name it is. Because sometimes there's friends in the group, and they might know a little bit about each other. So this is why it's blind. I have them hold that in their hands, and I have them – you know, hold it for a couple minutes. If they have to write things down to remember, I have them write it down. But they're starting to really connect in with that energy of who they're trying to read for, okay? And the one lady who had never done this before, she, like, totally nailed it. And she's like, oh, my God, I've never done this before. I didn't know I could do this. So this is something you guys can practice in all your groups that you have going on out there because I feel like there's more groups that are starting to build out there. And if there's none in your neighborhood, start building one because it's about like-minded people coming together and sharing the love. But it's a good way for you to tap into someone's energy without knowing exactly who they are. And it just shows that you're able to connect in with that energy to be able to um, – give messages, to be able to know that you're giving messages, right? So it's an amazing, amazing thing. So tap into other people's energies, have fun with that. You know, there's so much going on and there's so much to learn. Um, what else is going on? It's so fun. Um, there's so much going on and there's so much to learn. Um, and it's amazing. It's amazing. So take this time to just have some fun and Open up to yourself, and what else? Um, let's see. Open up to yourself. Open up to the energy, and have fun with it, and start recognizing the energy that's going on around you, whether it's the people right around you or if it's a store that you walk into, whatever it might be, know that you are connected to all these people out there, and we are able to read each other's energy. But I also like to point out that we have psychic etiquette, okay? Um, so I don't tap into people's energy unless you ask me to. It's not like I go into the grocery store and want to read everybody. That's way too much stuff for me to do. So with that, I think we're going to take a little commercial break so I can have a little drink of water. Thank you. Be right back. Goldilocks Productions is dedicated to provide professional internet TV and radio shows 
in the spiritual, metaphysical, paranormal, and new age genre. The show hosts are an elite team of holistic practitioners, healers, galactic shamans, psychic mediums, spiritual and metaphysical teachers that are powerful light workers assisting in this ascension process by unlocking the consciousness of the listeners to restore balance between mind, body, and soul. Visit purpleplates.com today. For over 40 years, the Purple Energy Plates have been delivering amazing results for their many customers. Inspired by the great genius Nikola Tesla, the harmony, healing, and energetic effects of the place have proven over and over to be beneficial and often miraculous to thousands of customers. With their money-back guarantee and the many benefits, how can you afford not to get one? Check their site for daily specials and choose from their many energy products. You won't be sorry. Visit them today at purpleplates.com for mind, body, and spirit and Expect a miracle. Goldilocks Productions provides professional internet, TV, and radio shows in the spiritual and new age genre. Awesome. Welcome back. Thanks. Using all that energy makes me have to get a little drink of water. So make sure you guys are all staying hydrated out there, making sure you're getting enough water in your body. Remember, we're made of water, so it's very important for us. Um, So with all of that, there's exciting things coming in the month of May. If you guys are in Sarasota, Florida at all on May 19th, which is a Sunday, I'm teaming up with two other girls here at Wild Ginger Apothecary for a message gallery, which is always fun. Um, You know, so if you ever want to just get out and have some fun, if you're in Sarasota, stop on in. That would be so amazing. So, again, I want to tell you, you can reach me at IamMelissaParks.com on my website. You can reach me by phone at 941-266-9250. And you just reach out to me if you ever feel the need. But I feel like the radio is touching you in ways and helping you change. Um, It's so funny because I'm like, I try to figure myself out because we're all trying to figure ourselves out. And I have many different things that I do. I feel like I'm this... um, you know, I'm a channel, I can give lots of information, but I'm also like this, this, this beacon of light that vibrates this stuff. And sometimes I just don't know. I, well, I can't control it. It just happens when it needs to happen. So just know that you're all being recharged out there, re, you know, recalibrated and being helping, being helped to open up to your higher self and allow yourself to really stand in your truth. You know, and that's a hard one for people to stand in their truth because, once you start doing it, it becomes very easy because a lot of people have a time, hard time even saying the truth. Say your friend calls you and says, hey, let's go out to dinner, but you don't really like this friend, but and you don't really want to go, but you can't say that you don't really want to go, so you make up something. Say, oh, my son is sick, or you make up some excuse, I don't feel good today. Well, you're telling the universe right there that you're either saying that you would like your kid to get sick because you don't want to go out to dinner with these people, or that you're not feeling well, rather than just saying, no, it's not a good time for me. You don't have to give an, a, you know, an explanation. You just say, no, this, it doesn't work for me or whatever. But it's allowing you to start standing in your truth. And once you start, start standing in your truth and you start speaking your truth, it just comes out of your mouth without even trying. You try to say something else, and all of a sudden it just blurts right out of you and just runs. So the more you stand in your truth, the more powerful you become, too, and the better you feel about yourself and much more confident. Um, one of the things we've always done is always been hidden, you know. I feel like that's one of the things that's always been with me. I was always the hidden one. Um, or I always chose to hide myself because I didn't know how to interact with people. Um, it also goes back into my childhood about not being able to use my abilities. So, you know, not being able to use my abilities to my fullest, even when I was younger, you know, probably made me unhappy, you know. So if you guys start tapping in and start using your abilities, because each and every one of you have every single ability that you've ever heard of or seen of, we are all just the same in that aspect. It's all in just when you decide to remember it. Okay, and each little thing starts to happen to help you remember that, whether you're having a 
conversation with someone and all of a sudden you're having deja vu. You're like, oh, my God, I've seen this before. So that deja vu is like that memory that says, hey, we've done this before. This is recalling a memory that you remember that this is happening again. So it's like, all right, you're on the right path. That's what I get from it. Everyone else gets something different, but whatever your truth is and you feel, you go with that. So with all these things that are taking place, it's about us finding out more of who we really are. And, you know, if we are kind of like the lotus flower because we do have all those petals and each petal that we have to fold down off of ourselves is helping to uncover who we are hidden inside, okay? And we are all hidden. So it's about us all coming to light, being truthful with who we are, speaking our truth, standing in that power, creating more love. There's so much joy to be had when we start doing that. Um, you know, and I feel like May is the month of joy because this, you know, when I used to live up north, not, I didn't always live in Florida. I used to grow up in New England, Connecticut and Maine. So that one was when all the flowers would really start to come out, you know, at least the spring ones. And you would feel like life was coming alive again. The grass would be turning green. The flowers would be getting, you know, their colors or their petals. And the trees would be growing their leaves. So there's all this new growth that needs to pay, take place. And pr- picture yourself as that tree or that flower. And what new growth are you making for yourself, okay? What is it that you want to bring into your life that you do not have now? This is your ability to create that. Okay, you get to create this beautiful garden, which you will call your life, your journey from this day forward. And what do you want to create in that? You want to get rid of all the negative things that are still happening in your life, whether it's people, places or things, and just be like, all right, I'm done with that. I feel like a lot of people are ready to get up and move from wherever they are, too. They've just had it. They've had enough. This is telling you it is time for you to go. So listen to your intuition. When you don't feel like you belong somewhere anymore, it's truly time for you to go, okay? It's just like when I used the the last place I lived before I moved to Florida was Maine. And I didn't want to live in Maine anymore. Maine was very depressing for me in the wintertime, okay? Grayness from, like, October to April would be very, very depressing for me. And summer was always my happiest time of year, okay? I always loved the summer. Um, As soon as the ice would go out, I would go dumping in that water for that freshness. I I couldn't do that now, trust me. Uh, But it's like all that newness that's coming is you're creating it. And now if your body's telling you you don't belong in that situation or that space anymore, it's up to you to change that. So move forward into that happy space that you would like to be in, okay? Um, There are so many things that you could be doing that are going to change your life. And it's one, you have to start changing the way you're thinking. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people that should be journaling right now about how you're feeling, about what you want. It goes back to the beginning of the show when you start writing these lists about what your life should look like or what it should feel like for yourself. Start creating that. And if you feel like you keep hitting stumbling blocks, reevaluate where you are and where you want to go from here. Um, Because the the stumbling blocks are telling you that this is not the right direction um, unless you want to keep stumbling. You know, and a lot of people are stuck in some of the situations they're in, and you're not stuck as much as you think you are. You can change these up, these can change these things up if you so desire to do that. So allow yourself to change. Allow yourself to really dive deep into you and find out what's going on with you. Find out who you really are. If something feels uncomfortable, then then acknowledge that. You know, I don't like that anymore. I used to like it, but I don't like it now because we're changing so rapidly that things that we liked a month ago, we may not like today. And we are definitely not the same person we, we were a year ago. So all this change is taking place within us and each and every one of us to create such a much better place for us to live. The guides and the angels are asking all of you to like start creating. They keep showing me this, these little bubbles. And I feel like I, all these people, it was so funny. I wish you guys could see the little cartoons I'm seeing in my head right now. But remember the little balloon cartoon things where the conversation would come up and they're like, put the little ideas in the little bubbles and then little float away. So they're like showing all these ideas going out into the universe and starting to make things happen for you. Um, We were not as restricted as we used to be. So it's about standing in that and really creating that and really believing that. So allow yourself to actually do that. Allow. Say that. (laughs) Allow. I love them. Um, 
Let's see, what else do they have for you guys today? There's so much going on in my head. I feel like my wheels are spinning, like, over time. And I feel like I talk really fast. So when I, And when I do channel, I do talk fast. So that's how you know I'm really channeling because I do talk faster than the normal Melissa, if that makes sense. Um, so it's like all this energy that's coming in gets speeded through me. It's like, and I feel like I shoot it out really fast. And I'm sorry if it's too fast and you guys can't understand, but the energy is there. And this is just how we work, you know, and some people are a lot slower at it or much more into it or whatever, but this is how, this is how my information flows through me. And I love the connection because you can feel it when you're totally connected in with your higher self. And I feel like that's what I do when I'm doing this is connecting to my higher self, to my God self. And then all the channels outside of that connecting all to the angels and guides and stuff like that. Um, you can see it however you feel, but it's like all of this information is just there at your fingertips. And each and every one of you can start opening up to all of these abilities and start getting this information for yourself. Because every one of you has the answers inside of you. Again, they're going, they want you to dive deep. And they're showing me the petals falling off the lotus again. So each time you find out about yourself, you become more of this bloom that you're really supposed to be helping you shine your light. And I want you to know that once you really start shining your light, the people around you are really going to start to notice this. And when they do, they're going to go, how are you making your life so happy? And then you can start sharing this information with them because they don't yet know until you tell them. And they're like, oh, it's that easy. But how do I do that? And some people think it's really hard, but it's really not. If you believe that it's easy, it will be easy. So start believing that everything's easy for you. Believe that money is going to flow into you if you're feeling lack of. Whatever you're lacking, believe that it's going to flow into you in divine time because everything happens in divine time. You know, it's just like me with this show, okay? You know, for two years, April, which actually I just figured this out, it was April two years ago um, that I kept getting the message that I needed to do videos and I needed to do audio and I needed to do this, okay? Okay. But it was like divine timing. I kept going, well, is this the time? And I tried doing videos on my own. And I, you know, it just never worked out for me. And then all of a sudden, this show popped up, and it became a reality for me. So just know that whatever you're asking for will show up in divine time. Not when we believe that it's going to happen. Because true, I believe that two years ago when I first got that message, I'd be doing it by June. I figured, oh, two months, we got this all undercover. But I was not manifesting that fast because I was still holding myself back about my beliefs and stuff like that. And I have to work on that too. Nobody is perfect. Even us, all us spiritual people, we all still have things to learn. So we're all learning just all at different levels, which is an amazing thing because we can help the people next to us. We can help the people over there and we can just help everywhere, which is just so amazing. So Help yourself and help others. The fun, fun, fun stuff we do and the fun stuff we learn diving into our spiritual selves and learning about ourselves, okay? And I'm also getting that I need to bring this up a little bit too, okay? Because a lot of our belief systems come from long time ago, okay? And yes, some of them are true. Some of them are, are, are not true, okay? So you have to take into account what feels right to you. Does that feel like truth? Because even when we go back into some of these old tech books and stuff like that you may have lived in that part of that lifetime that would have been our history and it doesn't feel correct to you well then you're 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 getting truth out of that so again we want you to recognize the truth that's coming up all around you and helping you to uncover who you really are okay and they also want you to look at the many reasons why things happen okay it's just like okay so i have this one friend who has um has a hurt body right now. She hurt her, tweaked her back out somehow, okay? And there could be a hundred reasons why that happened. One of them could be she's working too hard and, you know, she's not taking a break. Or if it's in her lower back, maybe she keeps worrying about money and then that keeps acting up. So whatever thoughts you have going on are going to enter your body. So we want to start thinking clear, positive thoughts so that we can be the happy, energetic person that we truly want to be rather than these pains. So there could be reasons why a lot of things happen. So it's so interesting you know, the things that we have to go through. And one thing is not always what the next thing means. So you can talk to one person and they can say it means all of this and it may be true, but then there's happening things on many different levels, okay? So just be aware that everything that you're going through is not just linear, not just the level that we can see right now, but on every level around us, above us, below us, however you want to look at how our dimensional lives work. 
Well, all right. I have a caller. Let's talk to caller from area code 210. Hello. Hi there. Hello. This and is you Pearl are? from Texas. I'm Pearl from Texas. Hey, Pearl from Texas. How can I help you today? So I was, <clears throat> I'm looking for an inspirational message right now. I've got a lot going on, and I just need to kind of uh, check in and, and have you kind of focus things for me. Okay. Okay, Pearl. Well, I want you to know that first thing that you're surrounded by love. It may feel a little chaotic what you have going on right now, but when I just wrote your your name on my piece of paper and your area code, they covered the whole all around you with hearts. Okay, so automatically I know that you're being covered with love, and everything that's going on. You said it's a little chaotic. Is that what you said? There's just a lot going on, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you have to pick and choose what you want to be going on and just get rid of the rest because not all of it's yours. Um, so whatever's not yours, you need to kick to the curb and just worry about what you have going on. Um, and you're going to sort things out very quickly. Um, I feel like you're getting a lot of insights, and I'm giving you – they're saying I'm, use, I'm use, only giving you more validation to help you move forward. If this is almost like you're kicking the butt to, like, get out of your own way to get out over your own way because apparently you have this uh, train of thought they keep showing me. It's almost like this projector keeps walking, coming down in front of me with words. So whatever you keep saying to yourself, you need to throw that pattern away um, because it's not working for you. Do you have any specific questions wrapped around that? Um, that's exactly what I'm doing is I'm trying to, I'm trying to find what to focus on and where the clutter is and where, where to kind of streamline things in my life and what's the okay. highest priority versus all this other, you know, stuff that I should be doing. So, yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking for that drive and that focus to kind of like move things forward. Okay. Well, as you were just talking, they just drew even more hearts around your name and your number, okay? So you are getting all the guidance that you need. You are making the right decisions. They want you to know you are. They want you to evaluate all that's going on in your life. So you can get out your piece of paper. Here I go with my list again. Write down everything that's going on, okay? And then circle or feel and then, you know, circle, whatever you need to do to feel which ones are most important, and then put those on another piece of paper and take care of those first and put the rest to the side because the others don't matter as much. It's almost like your plate is too full. It's kind of like we're at Thanksgiving dinner and you just filled your plate up with everything, you know. You're like, but our eyes are so much bigger than our belly, so you only ate a quarter of it. So that means three quarters of that plate you don't even need. Right? Yes, that makes sense. Okay, perfect, because that's what they're showing me. So there's like three-quarters of the stuff that's even on your mind it doesn't even belong to you, and you don't even want it. Okay, yeah, actually, that's really – so list and prioritize is what you're saying. That Actually, that'll help, because all these things are swimming around my head. So, yeah. Well, yeah, so that's you, what it looks like. Yeah, are you a That's what it looks too? like. I am a medium, too. I can tap into whatever. Why, do you have someone on the other side you like to tap into? Yes, my mom. Can I just have a first name? Her name is Sue. Sue. All right. Just give me a second to tap into your mom's energy. She been gone a while? A little bit now. Yeah. Two years. Okay, yeah, because it feels like it's been a while. Okay. Huh. All right, so it took a minute for her to tap in. But here's here she's she's like and, and she's part of the reason why I was writing so many hearts because she's sending you love to help you move forward. Um you've always been someone that always helps somebody else, but you don't spend enough time helping yourself. This is something your mother also did, so she would like you not to um follow in her footsteps about that. She would like you to release yourself from that pattern she's saying. She's also saying that there's great joy coming up in the in the year ahead for you. She's showing me 
um, like there's these new events coming up. I feel like there's new opportunities and you're listening to your intuition. You're listening to your mother because you already listened to your mother. You talked to her already in your dream. And I feel like you talked to her when you're awake too. So she says, this is just an added message from the conversations you guys already have. Um, she says, you don't always believe what you're hearing, but she wants you to start trusting in that and start believing in that more because that'll be very helpful for you, for you moving forward. Because I feel like you have a lot of abilities and she's showing me like energy coming Coming out of your hands. So, are you an energy healer? Are you working with energy at all? Um, I have over the years, and um, but I get away from it, and then I come back because I get busy with you know work. But yes, yeah, I, I do. I can actually when I can, I can get into zones where I channel a little bit, and I use my hands. Yes. Okay. Well, you're supposed to be doing that again, and I have goosebumps. Do you feel that? Yes. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> That's funny. Awesome. That's funny. No, no. Yeah. It, actually, it is kind of funny, but not funny at the same time. It just shows how we're connected and that you need to tap in and start using those abilities because that will help clear out the clutter, too, just so you know. How do you, how do, you, you do still, that? How do you do that? Well, yeah. how do you, how, what do you do with your energy work? Do you do Reiki? Do you work on people? Do you just do, you know, energy with the earth? What are you, what are you doing with it? What do you want to do with it? How do you want to use it? I, I actually, just, I do Reiki and I just, and I, oh. when I, when I zone in, I, I see silhouettes and bodies and basically I just do it for people who, who I know that would be open to it. I ask them if I could, you know, run energy on them. And then I try to run it on myself sometimes too. Okay, you should run it on yourself all the time. I run mine every night. I put my hands on myself say, all right, run all night. <laughs> um, no, that's good. But I'm feeling like you're supposed to be stepping out and actually telling people what you do now. So this could be like side income for you, and it would give you more to focus on your energy, help you stand more in your true self, because those people that you actually do the energy work on feel better. They feel the effects of it. Um, they may not always tell you because they're not there. Some of them are very new to it, but I feel like you're supposed to be using more of it. So it's time to come out of your box. Okay. Are you ready okay. for that? <laughs> kind of. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. You're kind of ready. You're, you're like on the edge looking over going, I don't know if I can fly. And that's really far. Just jump. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just jump. They're like, you got wings, you know, fly. And and start using your abilities because that's one of the reasons why you're here. And it's okay that you've take, been on and off the track, okay, because we've all done it. It's like I learned about energy work back in 1996 when I went to massage school, but I didn't do anything with it until my 40s, okay? So we all do everything in divine time. Sometimes we have to take detours or whatever. It all happens at the right time. Okay. Interesting. I just yeah. keep praying for clarity in my direction. I keep praying for clarity, just more clarity. Okay, that's <laughs> funny because you know what? You may already have that because I say sometimes clarity is not comfortable. Okay, because yeah. you're becoming more clear about the things in your life and they're making you uncomfortable. So you have to make choices to step into what is going to make you comfortable now with that clarity. True. <laughs> you know, yeah, I just realized that one like a month ago. That's one of my favorite ones right now. I was like, yeah, clarity is not always comfortable because we think clarity is like, all right, we got the clear map. We know what to do. Everything's going to be set up. No, clarity is only telling us that we need to make some changes to bring that to us. So just know that you're going to be having more of that just pop up. You're going to have more clarity. You're going to have more of the uncomfortableness because you have to get rid of whatever's not comfortable anymore. Whatever doesn't feel good really doesn't belong in your life anymore. Yeah, it's kind of like walking through, walking towards your weakness, even though it's excruciatingly painful to go through that very difficult door on the other side is immense a satisfaction and joy. I've done that a couple yeah. of times. Yeah. All right, well, you're so, going to do it again. Do you, have time, <laughs> do you have time for another question? Sure, what you got? So since you're connected with my mother at the same time, do you have any recommendations on how I might heal the relationship with my brother since my mother's death? Ooh. Okay. The first thing your mother did was put up her hand. <laughs> um, you, you, there's nothing you can do at this particular moment to fix that. 
okay? Um, your brothers are very stubborn and stuck in their ways. They are not as open and loving as you are. So all you can do is send love, okay? Because they became very, very negative around the death and very negative towards you. So it's like you just send love, but you need to keep a distance because they have things they need to learn that you cannot help them learn at this time. Does this make sense? Yes, he be, and I understand why uh, why he did what he did. He and everything that was happened was were my mother's wishes, which I pretty much just executed as she wished. And he thought that it was Perfect. me. It was actually her. Right, right. No, I get that. And you, he, he won't see it another way, okay? All you have to do is your mother, that's why your mother put the hand up. There's nothing you can do because you followed exactly what her wishes were to the T. So you followed mm-hmm. whatever your, your, your directions were with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is so cool. But you, you just need to keep moving forward. That's part of your past right now. They have their own things they need to learn and sit in. You know that you did everything right. You were standing in your truth. You were standing in your power. And you were totally standing in your mother's wishes. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel I like for things to be and like you know, like to be healed and and to be you know loving as much as possible. So, um, well, you just you just have to worry about healing yourself, and they have to take care of healing themselves because nothing you can say or do is going to penetrate into that hard wall that they put up already, um, and they want to sit there and own that. Okay. Okay. So Very there's not good. much you can do about that. So. Awesome. Well, I hope that was helpful for you today, Pearl. That was. That was very interesting. Lots of fun. And I still can kind of feel your energy swirling. That's, I'm pretty sensitive to others who are also energy workers. So this has kind of been fun for me. Oh, and you're going to swirl on that the rest of the day, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be like your spiritual hurricane that you're going to like, or tornado to help you clean up your life. How's that sound? <laughs> Well, I, I, love, I love that. Usually at the end of the storm, there's a bright sunshine and a rainbow. So. <laughs> so exactly. So we're on our way because I can feel your energy, too. I'm getting goosebumps again. So that's awesome. Yay. Thank you. This awesome. is wonderful. Awesome. Thanks, Pearl. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <clears throat> oh, how awesome is that? And it's so funny how numbers like to make appearances about themselves. Just so you guys notice, I've had two callers today, okay? The numbers are the same but different. My first caller came from area code 201. My second came from 210. So the same numbers but in a different sequence. So you know I will be looking up these numbers um, when I get done in my little book over there in my office to find out what that means. So just pay attention, okay? Um, Feel the energy, stand in your power, block out bad energy, only allow the good energy to come through. Allow yourself to just move. And, oh, see, my producer just told me, yes, both of those numbers add up to three. That's, you're right. That's awesome. And that's, and that's what this year is, too. That's funny. So three is a very powerful number. I love them. That means that our ascended masses are talking to us, which is so awesome. Um, that's what it means. To me, it may mean something different to you, but that's awesome. Yay. <laughs> that's awesome. I would have figured that out after. I always think about things differently later. I'm like, and then I re-evaluate things and I move things around to get a different look at it. So it's kind of like I play like these um, moving pictures sometimes. I'm like, all right, well, what happens if we swap these things around? So that's pretty powerful. That's awesome. And 33 is a master number. So that would be 33. My producer's right on top of it. Thank you, Tiffany. So that is the master number. You know, we love master numbers, whether 11, 22, 33. And those have all been coming up for me, you know. So I have to tell you just one last thing before we get ready to go today. So funny. I haven't been to a concert in 30 years. So last Friday, my boyfriend and I went to Dream Theater. And that's pretty heavy metal for those of that you know that. And I haven't been to a concert seriously in 30 years, okay? And I don't listen to this kind of music anymore, but I was like, for the boyfriend, I will do it. You know, I'll go. I feel like I was being called there for more reasons than just him. You know, energetically, I feel like my energy was being called there. 
Um, so with that, I sh- we go, and our tickets are so funny. He, so he hands me my ticket when we get inside, and we are I am sitting in row two, seat two. And I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. So I start laughing because I think that's pretty funny. And I am, like, right there at the stage. And it was so cool. Um, even I had my earplugs. Don't worry. I didn't blow my eardrums out. But it was really cool to be there. And I kept noticing this singer that was standing in front of me. And I'm sorry, I don't know his name. But he kept ha- he had this cross on his neck. And I kept being pulled to his cross and kept paying attention to it you know and all the people are up jumping around and singing around me and I'm just sitting being very calm just paying attention you know maybe tapping my foot or whatever but allowing that energy to flow out to him and the greatest part was I'm going to say pretty much toward the end the lead singer says and the guy that I was looking at had just read a book about past lives and reincarnation and ask how many people believed in that. So I got major goosebumps when I was sitting there and that took place. I was like, all right, I was here to definitely hear that and know that people are opening up on so many different levels. You know, so it's like not just our rock stars and just us average people, but everyone is starting to open up and see life in such a different manner and allowing themselves to talk about it. Even though half the audience maybe said yes and part of them said no, you know, but it was it was a mix and it was an open door for people to awaken to a new level. So that makes me so excited. And I happen to be there in a master number, which was 22. (laughs) And if you look at both these numbers, they both started with two. So again, numbers play with us. So listen to them, pay attention to them. What does that feel like? You know, what does that mean for you? It's an amazing, amazing stuff. Oh, this makes me so excited. Um, And the energy is still kicking. So if you guys have tapped in today, you will be feeling this all day. Feel joy with that. Allow yourselves to just roam about the earth in a happy manner. I like to say, like, get in the lazy river. It's like we get in the lazy river. We're in our little float. We might have our little cocktail, water, whatever we need, and we're just letting life kind of flow us, okay? Just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Again, if you guys are ever looking for me, you can find me on my website at IamMelissaParks.com. You can call me by phone at 941-266-9250. You can find me in Sarasota, Florida at Wild Ginger, Wild Ginger Apothecary here in Gulfgate. And there's just so much going on in the world, and I love tapping in with each and every one of you. This is bringing about such joy for me. Um, I might get a little nervous before I get on. I'm like, what am I going to talk about? But my guides always take over. My human self needs to just check out and not worry about it. And just know that we are all here to make a better planet, a better earth, better humanity. We're all changing on so many different levels. Start using your abilities. If you have them, start using them, whether they're with your friends and your family or you're ready to start charging for them or trading your services. A lot of times I trade my services too. So if you have a service you want to barter, I'm into that too, depending on what it is. Um, You know, I trade with a massage therapist. Of course, you'd have to be local for some of these things. But, you know, energy exchange. There's got to be an energy exchange, okay? People don't want to be healed without an energy exchange. They don't accept it very well. So just know that you're sending out love. You're sending standing in your vibration, you're standing in your power, and they just show me this great big, it's so cool, I wish you guys could see inside my brain sometimes, this beautiful heart floating over Mother Earth, and it's just raining down all this love on each and every one of you. As long as you have your heart open to receive, you shall receive. If you are still shut up, we ask, shut off, we ask that you open it up and allow this love to come to you and come through you and connect you in with your highest and best self in this moment now because so much is changing on every moment that you can change on the turn of a dime allow yourself to be the love be the light and allow yourself to share it with yourself as well as others and i hope you all have the most beautiful week and that the month of may brings you all these miracles and joys that you have been asking for just know that all your prayers have been heard You just need to believe that they are coming into fruition for you and that many, many joys are on their way for you. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you all next week. Thank you.